morning. Um, I have a few things to talk about and show today. Um, one, I know y'all are all dying to know how the um, our little craft get together went on Saturday, and it went great. <clears throat> we had a great time. The gals who came were really not creepy at all. I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> No, it was it was fine. Everyone was normal, you know, my version of normal, which might be a little skewed, and you know that works for me. Um, we had a great time. We made these little journals, and y'all are gonna want to shoot me, but um, you know, if you've been watching more than a couple of my videos, then you're not gonna be surprised to learn that I totally forgot to. Um, do what I promised repeatedly to do, and that was to take some video or pictures or something. Totally forgot. We're like almost finished, and I'm like, oh, I forgot to take pictures. I think I took one. I may have taken one. If I did, I'll attach it to the end of this. But here's the thing. Okay, I have decided, or I have relearned this about myself, that I just can't do two things at once. You know, it was difficult enough for me to remember how I did this, to, to show them how to do one like it, you know. I really kind of just fumbled through that. That was difficult enough, so how could I expect myself to remember to shoot some video? Next time, and there will be a next time because it was fun, we'll do it again. Next time, I'm going to ask someone else maybe to um, either be in charge of that or just be in charge of reminding me to do it because, um, yeah, I just totally fail when I have to think of more than one thing at a time. You know, I can, I can barely stay focused on one thing. I don't know what I was thinking. So anyway, my apologies, but um, just let me assure you we had a great time. We made our journals. Um, we talked about um, grouchy people in a menopause support group and we read passages from a vintage 1940-ish etiquette book, which was hilarious. It, it talked about how, um, how you should behave if your husband brings a chum home for dinner unexpectedly, and then you're supposed to just act like you're so excited, and if there's not enough food for the three of you, you only have enough for two, then you have to feign loss of appetite so that the chum can eat your meal. It was so funny. I am definitely going to get Susan on film reading from the etiquette book next time because it was awesome. So anyway, that's what we did. And we talked and we crafted and we shared stuff. I love looking at other people's stuff. You know, other people's stuff is always better than your own. So it was great. Thank you so much, uh, Susan and Wendy and Sandy, for taking time out of your Saturday to drive out here and hang out with me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, this I got last week, and I have, I'm just now getting around to talking about it, but I got happy mail from Christine Montano. I hope that's how you say her last name. But she is here in Houston, or in the Woodlands, actually. And she couldn't make it on Saturday, and I was really sad because I was looking forward to meeting her. But we're going to get together eventually. But anyway, um, she sent this just shortly after I got out of the hospital. Because, you know, I constantly complain that I don't have enough sheet music. And um, she felt the need to solve that problem for me, and solve it she did. She sent, okay, first of all, she sent these awesome papers, which I actually already have a plan for these, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, you know, in case the plan doesn't pan out, but if it does pan out, it's going to be great, so I'm very excited about these, and they're exactly the right colors, so yeah, that was just sort of a, you know, fate thing, thank you, Christine, and she sent these awesome books of sheet music, this one, I love this one, it is a the Lost Star, a sacred dramatic cantata. And evidently maybe somebody, somebody's church did this at Christmas or something because it's got some handwritten notes in it which just make it all that much more special. You know, because it's like, it's like old lady handwriting. Can I say that? Old lady handwriting? Yeah, I just did. Twice. 
but I love this. This is this is fabulous. And I thanked Christine for sharing her stash with me, and then she sent a note back and said, "Oh, she bought these for me. You know, she was out at a um, some uh, friend's uh, thrift store or someplace, and she picked them out for me." Okay, who does that? Who, who does? Who sends? Who actually goes out and buys stuff specifically for a total stranger and sends it to her? I'll tell you who. Christine Montano. That is who, because she is my new BFF. Just so you know. I'm very humbled and appreciative of that, Christine. Thank you so much. Um, this book. She has a couple books that she sent that were like saxophone. Yeah, there's. There's three here, saxophone books, and these are so fun because, you know, they've got sheet music in them, but they also have these, I guess they're scales to practice, and, and I just love all the notes. I love the way the notes look in the, the practice scales because, you know, they're different than just a regular song, so that's just so fun. She's got this one and this one for tenor sax, and my husband used to play the saxophone, so he says. I've never actually seen him play or heard him play. I guess it was, I don't know, maybe he played in high school or something. So that just gives it some extra coolness that she just happened to pick saxophone books. <clears throat> so that's kind of awesome. This one, okay, check this. She even marked this one. This one includes the famous Bull Weevil song. Okay, now where was this back when I was doing all of those bowl weevil layouts? That's what I want to know. I could have used this, <coughs> excuse me, for my bowl weevil series. And, you know, day late and a dollar short. Thanks, Christine. Yeah, thanks for that. I could have used these. <laughs> no, that just cracks me up. The bowl weevil song. I'm sure that was popular in its day. And this I love. This is the um, music for An American in Paris which I love the movie. I never saw the play, but I love the movie. So it is all kinds of special. So that is my, my very happy, happy mail from Christine. Thank you again so very much. I promise I will put all of these to good use, even the treasured Bull Weevil song. <laughs>